Hi, in this video you're going to learn laptop motherboard components part 2. So this is basically the processor or CPU central processing unit. Here basically we have two chipsets inside this chipset. The North Bridge and the processor. So the North Bridge and also the graphic card is installed with the processor in one chipset and over here we have the ICH or the South Bridge. The chipset that is responsible for all connectors and ports in the motherboard including audio connectors, USB connector, HDMI connector, RG45 connector and so on as you can see here. This is basically the slot for the random access memory, RAM. And here, as you can see, this is the ESIO or CPU Input Output IC. This IC is the responsible for the whole power in the motherboard. Here we have the BIOS, Basic Input Output System, 8-pin BIOS, as you can see. Always the BIOS is near to the ICH and is IO. You will find always or usually these three components next to each other. BIOS, ICH and is IO. So this is the ICH. Here we have the CMOS battery socket, 3 volt CMOS battery or RTC real time clock. Over here this basically this connector is for the Wi-Fi card and this connector is for the HDD or SSD for the hard disk drive. This is basically SAT or SATA connector for the hard disk drive or the solid state drive. Here we have ICs. This is basically ICs. Okay? So this is the audio controller IC. It controls the audio connectors. This IC basically controls the CRT jack, as you can see here, for screen. And this small IC, as you can see here, even if we have D, a diode, but this is basically an IC. So this is the USB controller. It gives the power, the 5 volt, and controls in same time the USB. This IC is for the HDMI. This is HDMI control IC. And here we have the TMAG for RG45 connector for eight, the Ethernet ports. This is chemical capacitors or electrolytic capacitor. Here we have minus this red part and here we have plus. Above each electrolytic capacitor you will find its value and voltage. Here we have 220 micro farad and 6.3 volts. We have another electrolytic capacitor with 330 micro farad and 6.3 volts. This is inductors, okay, or coils. Here we have other inductors, and those are 10 telem capacitors. These capacitors also are polarized capacitors. They have plus and minus. Here, basically, this is a fuse resistor, okay? A resistor with zero ohm, no resistance. Here we have diode, and we have another diode, as you can see, D12, the reference. Here, this is inductor. We have L, means inductor. Here we have another inductor, L100. This is another inductor. And those are capacitors, ceramic capacitors, not inductors. And these four components are resistors, okay? This black component are resistors. Here we have another ceramic capacitor. Here we have a fuse, okay? This is a fuse. As you can see, we have F1. And this is a crystal or quartz. We have Y6. You can find Y or X for crystal. This is other inductors, other type of inductors. All these are electrolytic capacitors for filtering purposes. This is basically other ICs. Here we have crystal, IC. Here we have MOSFETs. Three 
pin MOSFET. This is ceramic capacitors, inductors, okay? L, always pay attention. Never confuse between inductor and ceramic capacitor or PF capacitor. We have here the power jack connector. This is basically a diode. This is basic inductor. Here we have two switches or MOSFET. We have another inductor over here. It's not a diode inductor. Okay. The reference is PL. For the inductor, we can find L or PL. Here this is the charge IC controller. Okay. Here we have a fuse resistor with zero above it. This is a fuse. As you can see, we have F2 means a fuse. Here we have a MOSFET Q. This is other type of MOSFET near to the CPU socket. This is a flat MOSFET and we have inductor. PL, as you can see. L or PL, the same. Here, this is basically the back of the processor socket. All those, here we have ceramic capacitors and inductors. And this, as you can see, is a thermal sensor or a temperature sensor in order to cool down the processor. And here we have, as you can see, other MOSFETs, a flat MOSFET and tantalum capacitors. Here, basically, we have jack for LVDS, for screen or monitor. And here we have keyboard jack, GKB, as you can see, J for jack, and keyboard, as you can see. And we have GODD, means the optical disk drive jack. And here we have G touchpad. This is the touchpad jack. Okay? And we have here JUSB for USB. Here we have two switches, S the switch one and switch two. So basically four connectors. Next to each connector, we have its reference. We have G high speaker, G mic, jack for USB, the jack for the HDMI, and jack for RG45 connector. Okay. And here we have the CRT jack, okay?